now you know a lot about objects. You know that each object is simply a collection of name value pairs. Now it's time to talk about so called global objects. And there are two of them window and global. Window is a global object in each web browser, and global is a global object in Node.js. What is the purpose of those global objects? They contain a long list of properties, and some of those properties contain nested objects. Let's now look in action at those global objects, and let's start with window, global object in the browser. Let's go to the console of the browser and simply type here window, and press enter. And here we will get an object. Let's expand it. Here you see a bunch of properties, such as app view, system, alert, blur, caches, core, crypto, document, and so on. For example, such properties as inner height or inner width contain numbers, and those numbers indicate dimensions of this visible part of the window. There is also such property as local storage, and this property contains another object as a value. And this object contains, in my case, such properties as age, installed at, last age, and so on. Let me minify it and uh, let's try to look at other properties. Here you see such properties as on click, on close, on device motion, and you see that their values are null, not undefined, null. Let me scroll to the very end of this object and again you see how large it is. And you see that most properties contain function as values. For example, range, it holds a function, or range error, it also holds a function. Ok, let's try to find property here called console. Let's use Ctrl F here and type here console. And here it is. Console is one of the properties of the global object window. If I will expand it, you will see that this object contains other properties, for example, clear, count, or log. Surprised or not? As we have just discovered, log is a property of the console object, and console is a property of the global object window. That's why you are able to access console log directly here in the browser's console, like this, console.log, hello, there, like this. Or we can access console.log in the following way, window.console.log, and here type 2 plus 2, enter, and here we get 4. It means that objects such as console are in fact properties of the global object window. Let's now look at the global object called global in Node.js. I will go to the terminal and type here simply Node. Enter. If you get error at this point, please go to Node.js.org and install latest version of Node.js. Node.js is available for Mac, Windows and Linux. Ok, let's go on here in the console of Node.js. And let's here simply type global, enter. And here we get large, large object. And this object is a global object for Node.js. Let me scroll up to the beginning of this object. And here, for example, you see an object, it is nested object called versions. And it contains object with such properties as node, v8, and so on. And for example, here, this property holds this string as a value, and this value shows you version of the node installed on your computer. Next property, v8, shows version of the v8 engine that is the heart of Node.js. Also, here you see versions for Zlib, modules, NAPI, OpenSSL, and so on. We can easily access any of those properties directly using dot notation. For example, you see here that those properties are located in the versions object. And this versions object 
is property of the process. Let's access it like this global.process.versions. Let's clear console here, simply use Ctrl L and type here global.process.versions. Enter and here we get value of this property. In such a way, using dot notation, we can dig deeper and access, for example, node property of this object. Type simply global.process.versions.node. Enter. And here I get string. And this string is a value for this property. Let's check whether or not this global object in Node.js has console property. Let's clear console again, Ctrl L, and let's type global.console and press tab here. And you will see auto completion here. Yes, console property is available here. Dot, and let's press tab again. And now you see such properties as info, log, table, and so on. It means that console.log is also available here as one of the properties of a global object. Let's press enter, and here you see that that is a function. And that's why in Node.js we can call this log function either directly console.log hello from Node.js enter, or we can call it like this, global.console.log, and again, hello there, enter, and here we are. And you can do that, because console is one of the properties of the global object called global. Please pause video now and examine global objects in Node.js and in the web browser yourself. Try to access different properties and play with dot notation or use bracket notation. Try to find property called document and try to find it both here in the console of the browser as one of the properties of window global object and also try to find it here as one of the properties of the global object in Node.js and try to interpret result. Ok, let's now try to access window.document here. And I will get document as a result. If I will expand it, you will see HTML document. Here it is. HTML tag, head tag, body tag and so on. It means that this property document holds HTML document that represents contents of this web page. If I will try to access same property here in the Node.js. Let me clear console again, Ctrl L, and type global.document. I will get undefined. Because in Node.js, HTML document is absent. Ok, let's summarize. In this lecture, we have talked about global objects. And in web browser, global object is window, and in Node.js, it is global. And uh, such objects contain many different properties. For example, one of the properties is console. And this property contains nested object. And this nested object contains such functions as, for example, log. That's why we are able to use console.log directly in the console of the browser or directly in the Node.js. But what about log? We have seen that that is a function. And we have seen that there are many other functions that are attached as values for properties. If specific property of the object holds function as a value, this property is called method. Let's talk about this next. See you. Bye bye. Did you enjoy this video? If so, hit the thumbs up button. Link to the next video in the current section is now here. Link to the playlist for the current section is now here. See you in the next videos and I wish you good luck. Bye bye.